I'm John Hanna, NARD, CDTV.net, Dividend Report for Thursday, January 29, 2009. But first, here's today's CDTV.net Top Stories. Qualcomm Incorporated, a leading developer and innovator of advanced wireless technologies, products and services, announced results for the first quarter of fiscal 2009 ended December 28, 2008. Revenues were $2.52 billion dollars up 3% year-over-year and down 25% sequentially. Net income, $341 million, down 56% year-over-year and 61% sequentially. Diluted earnings per share, 20 cents, down 57% year-over-year and 62% sequentially. Dr. Paul E. Jacobs, Chief Executive Officer of Qualcomm, said, Despite weak economic conditions, wireless subscribers continue to migrate from second-generation to third-generation CDMA networks around the world. Our first quarter revenues were at the high of prior guidance and operating income, exceeded our prior guidance driven primarily by the mix of higher-end chipsets, higher-priced data-capable devices, and improved expense management. The Boeing company's fourth quarter net income declined to a loss of $56 million or $0.08 per share, reflecting the now-settled machinist strike. Revenues for the quarter declined 27% to $12.7 billion due primarily to the effects of the strike, which reduced commercial airplane deliveries by approximately 70 units and revenues by an estimated $4.3 billion. Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer Jim McNearney said the progress we made in many areas of Boeing during 2008 was outweighed by the impact of the strike and our performance on some key development programs. Jim McNearney added, Our imperative going forward is improving execution where it needs to be improved, maintaining strong performance across all of our production programs, and preserving our financial strength to grow in these challenging economic times. Boeing's 2009 revenue guidance is 68 to 69 billion dollars. Earnings per share guidance for 2009 is $5.05 to $5.35 per share. And now the dividend report. Paris Corporation of Saskatchewan Incorporated announced that its board of directors has declared a quarterly dividend of 10 cents per share payable May 7 to shareholders of record April 9, 2009. Paras Corporation of Saskatchewan Incorporated engages in the production and sale of fertilizers and related industrial and feed products in North America. The Board of Directors of Borg Warner Incorporated declared a quarterly dividend of twelve cents per share on all of the companies issued an outstanding common stock. The dividend is payable on february sixteenth to shareholders of record on february second, two thousand nine. Borg Warner Incorporated is a product leader in highly engineered components and systems for vehicle powertrain applications worldwide. The Board of Directors of West Bank Corporation Incorporated declared a regular quarterly dividend of eight cents per common share of outstanding stock. This dividend is payable on February 18 to shareholders of record on February 2, 2009. Serving Iowans since 1893. West Bank, a wholly owned subsidiary of West Bank Corporation Incorporated, is a community bank that focuses on lending, deposit services, and trust services for consumers and small to medium sized businesses. Baker Hughes Incorporated announced that the Board of Directors declared the regular quarterly cash dividend of 15 cents per share of common stock payable February 13 to shareholders of record on February 2, 2009. Baker Hughes provides Reservoir Consulting, Drilling, Formation Evaluation, Completion and Production Products and Services to the Worldwide Oil and Gas Industry. The Board of Directors of People's United Financial Incorporated declared a $0.15 per share quarterly dividend payable February 15 to shareholders of record on February 1, 2009. People's United Financial, a diversified financial services company, With $20 billion in assets, provides commercial banking, retail, and small business banking, and wealth management services. For more information about these dividends and other announcements, go to cdtv.net.